I'm going to continue to buy silver this year. These are my big five reasons to buy silver in 2021. Welcome to Silver Heist. Thank you to our returning subscribers and guests. We are a channel that likes to hold physical gold and silver. To support my creation, please subscribe. Well, this beautiful silver coin is going to be a leaping off point for why we're going to continue to buy silver in 2021. So this is part of the South Africa Big Five series of wildlife. This is animal number four. <laughs> so I stack both silver and gold. I need to get my inventory organized. I'm not the best record keeper. As I may have started out with all silver, I soon thought that maybe I wanted a 90% of the value tied up in silver and 10 or maybe 20% in gold. Then I think I wanted to go 50-50 in value. Now I'm inclined to maybe flip it to 80 gold, 20 silver. But I am not making silver zero. So I am excited for 2021. So I have big five reasons to continue to stack silver in 2021. So I'll share that list with you. And as we're telling that story, I will give you some more information about this special coin. So just looking at the spot price of both gold and silver, where it closed at the end of 2019 versus where it closed at the end of 2020, gold was up 24.6%, while silver was up 47.5%. So silver outperformed gold in terms of percentage increase against the US dollar, it had a very good year. So while gold went from 1519 to 1893, silver went from $17.83 to $26.30 to end the year, which is actually a higher percentage than gold's increase. So I'm excited for both metals. I think they're both positioned well for the future, just based off of financial policies and... Um, inflationary activity. So I think both metals are poised to do well. So I am not going to walk away from silver to put all of my interest in gold. So if the leopard is our first reason, let's look at, so what is the second reason to stack silver in 2021? Now, the second reason cut both ways. I've heard people argue this as a reason not to be excited about silver. And that is that silver did not reach its all-time highs in 2020, while gold did. So if you look at this chart for gold, gold's previous all-time high was back in 2011. And it was in the $1,800 range. And now it's above $1,800, and it reached a high of over 2,000 in early August. So while gold reached its all-time high, silver did not. So silver has a long ways to go until it reaches its highs that it reached also in 2011. I don't usually use these charts, so I'm not sure if these are adjusted for inflation or whether they're just raw US dollars. This is more about broader themes than trying to be precise anyways. So while I've heard some people say, hey, if silver didn't reach its all-time high last year, when will it? And I think when I heard this argument a couple of years ago, I, I thought it was a little weak because gold was on the move and silver was not. But the fact that both are on the move, it can only move so far so fast. If silver does in 2021 what it did in 2020, we'll be talking $40 silver. The third reason to be buying silver in 2021, a significant reason to be looking at silver in addition to gold in 2021, is that the Democrats are now in total control. Democratic Party is in control of the White House, and they also control the United States Congress, and not just part of the United States Congress, both parts, the U.S. Senate 
and the House of Representatives. With this control comes policies and not gridlock. One policy difference would be more green energy and more solar. So silver's demand for solar does not mean $50 silver or $100 silver. So I've got to read the full report and maybe I can do a story on this in the future. But there was a bank analysis before the election is what would happen if there was divided government, meaning Republicans and Democrats controlling different aspects of the government. And what would happen if the, if the Democrats controlled the White House and Congress? So one thing they said is that because of green energy, solar panels, they saw an increased demand for solar energy equating to about a 10% increase to the spot price of silver. So it doesn't double silver, but it puts another 10% on top of where silver is already going. So $27 silver becomes $30 silver, $30 silver becomes $33 silver. So increased demand for silver based off of economic priorities. The fourth reason to be buying silver in 2021. So the other reason to have confidence in silver is that it proved itself in 2020. So this is a certificate of authenticity for that leopard coin. There's a limited edition of 15,000. It's one of a five coin series and it's one ounce of silver. So silver authentically had some serious price increases last year. And I don't see any reason that it can't hold its gains any more or any less than gold did. If you look at gold to silver ratios, that's just another way of saying silver increased more as a percentage than gold last year. So that means that silver tightened the gold to silver ratio. So while in 2019, it was in the mid 80s to 90s and then it exploded in early 2021 with the pandemic up to 120 125 when they both reached their peak in august silver tightened the ratio all the way down to 70. so as gold and silver went sideways you know the the ratio expanded a little bit but the ratio is as tight as it's been in a couple of years it's in the low to mid 70s so silver is holding its price as well as gold is holding its price and they are linked now where it seemed like gold was leaving silver behind they are both moving in what i would say is the right direction and the fifth reason to be buying silver in 2021 so another reason to be buying silver as well as gold in 2021 is that I continue to want to have both. Even if I move my physical holdings to 80% value gold, 20% silver, I'm still holding on to silver. By having less of the volatile thing and more of the stable item, when gold moves up 2% and silver moves up 8% in a very short period of time, your portfolio is actually raising in equal amounts. When this drops by 5% and this drops by you know, 1%, since this is so much smaller piece, it's not as shocking to your overall picture. So I'm not putting my eggs in one basket or the other, by having 20% in the less volatile item, you are a little less concerned about the spot ch price changes on a daily basis. So to minimize premiums on the gold side, I wanna buy less frequently, but by also continuing to buy silver, at least on a monthly basis, I'm buying something and something that I still value. So just based off of policies coming out of Congress and the Federal Reserve Bank in 2021, it looks like a great year for both gold and silver. So comment below on the top reasons that you're going to continue to stack silver in 2021.